Hey, what's up and welcome to a new video tutorial. So we have here a Samsung phone which is stuck on uh, phone is starting. So basically you can restart the phone as many times as you want. But once you uh, come, uh, once the phone boots up, you see this uh, phone is starting and uh, it's always going to the right side. Uh, you always see the bar is loading, but it never uh, actually boots up. So what we can do is uh, let's try to boot up the phone first in safe mode. Uh, for this you try to click on the power button and hold it for 2-3 seconds. Once you see this screen then you click here on uh, turn off and hold your finger on it. Again. Then you will see here uh, safe mode and then you click on this icon and your phone will boot up in safe mode. Then we will try another thing. Enter your PIN code for the SIM card if you have it. And then you will see here safe mode. And the phone is still loading. But you can enter here the settings menu, on the right side on the top corner you pull down, then you see here this settings icon, and then we can go here to, wait I will try to choose here on English. Okay, then we choose English here. And then let's go try to go back. When you have problems, again click here on the settings. Then go, let's see, let's go here on the apps. And then we click here and sort all sap, uh, apps on last updated. Okay, so we see here the Google Play services is the disabled. Let's go here in, click on storage, clear cache, uh, go back and then here and click on enable. Okay, let's go back. And then also go on YouTube. Uh, let's go here on storage, uh, clear cache, clear data, delete. Okay, let's go back. And again, let's go on messenger. Uh, let's go here on storage, clear cache. Let's go back maybe private compute services, also here, click on storage, we don't need to clear cache here, and let's go to Samsung push service, uh, let's go here on storage, clear cache, we don't need to do that as well, and then let's go on the drive app, it's installed, okay, let's go here as well on storage, clear cache, Okay, and let's try maybe this one, link to Windows, uh, click on storage, clear cache. Okay, so basically we did uh, clear some cache of some uh, applications and we did enable Google Play services. So let's go and try to restart the phone now. and see if this will help. We're again in the SIM card mode. Let's enter the SIM card pin number and see if the phone will start now.
Okay, so this method didn't work. We will need to try and go with the method number two. So if this doesn't work, then unfortunately uh, we will need to factory reset the phone. So keep in mind that uh, all your data will be lost, unfortunately. So your phone, uh, phone contacts and pictures will be gone. But for doing this, we need to go to the right side here, swipe down, then you go here on the settings icon. And then let's go down and we will go to uh, general management. And then again, down to reset. And then we go to factory data reset. And again here down and click on reset. This will reset your phone, delete all. Shutting down and now wait until the phone finishes everything. So that's it, if you have a PIN number, enter the PIN number. And now you can proceed with the basic settings to uh, activate the phone and use it. This is like the phone was already bought brand new. Um, it should work, that's it. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find the donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.